Elon Musk and his co-founders at the neurotech business Neuralink made an exciting announcement recently. They revealed that the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA had permitted them to conduct their first in-human clinical test. This is a significant development, and we will delve into what we can expect from this milestone in this episode. Welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, the channel where we bring you the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, along with updates on space, science, and technology. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you never miss any of our amazing videos. Elon Musk's Neuralink has gained FDA approval for its first in-human clinical test, marking a significant milestone for the neurotech company. Neuralink aims to develop a brain implanted device to decode neural activity and transmit information to computers. While previous research was limited to animal subjects, this approval paved the way for human trials. Though not typically confirming trial approvals, the FDA acknowledged Neuralink's announcement and its approval for an investigational device exemption. Musk congratulated his team, emphasizing the importance of this step in advancing their technology to eventually assist numerous individuals. What is Neuralink? Neuralink established in 2016 as a private company with operations in California and Austin. With over 400 employees and $363 million in funding, it focuses on brain-computer interfaces. Neuralink aims to develop implants that decode brain activity, benefiting paralyzed individuals and those with conditions like ALS. Other companies have already conducted clinical trials, allowing people to perform actions once limited to science fiction. However, Neuralink goes beyond restoration, aiming to enhance human capabilities. In contrast to traditional implant manufacturers, Neuralink strives to outperform human performance. Its ambitious goals have attracted attention and resources in the field of brain-computer interfaces. How does the brain chip work? Neuralink has developed a robot surgery tool and an electrode-laden computer chip to attach the chip to the brain's surface. Unlike some competitors, Neuralink pursues an invasive, high-bandwidth approach aiming for faster data flow from the brain to the computer. Elon Musk envisions frequent updates to the technology. Neuralink demonstrated its capabilities by teaching a monkey to play Pong using its thoughts. However, concerns have been raised regarding animal research practices, leading to calls for an investigation by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Success in human trials and regulatory approval is not guaranteed as safety, reliability, ethics, and security remain important considerations in brain-computer interfaces. When will the first human clinical trials begin? Engineers and scientists are making strides in the race to implant chips in people's brains, aiming to develop electronic brain implants that enable direct communication between the mind and computers. While Elon Musk's Neuralink has brought attention to this field, other businesses like Paradromics Incorporated have a different focus, restoring communication abilities to those who have lost the ability to talk or type. Investors are supporting Paradromics, hoping it will succeed where Neuralink has faced challenges. With Musk's investments and public presence, the race to connect human brains with electronic devices has intensified, bringing legitimacy and resources to competitors. Several significant companies, including Synchron Inc., have received substantial funding since Neuralink's inception in 2017, with brain-computer implants already benefiting individuals worldwide. These companies must demonstrate the safety of their technology for FDA approval to implant the devices in people. The commercialization of brain implant devices presents significant ethical and security concerns, particularly regarding potential cognitive advantages for healthy individuals. Leading companies in this field seek to intercept and transmit signals from the body to the brain, enabling actions through thought alone, such as cursor movement. While strategies may vary, initial applications primarily target individuals with severe disabilities. Neuralink, the largest player, aims to create a high-speed brain-computer interface for the general population and develop treatments for spinal cord and brain injuries. Elon Musk's influence in the industry is widely recognized, igniting broader interest among investors and customers. However, there are concerns about potential FDA approval challenges and the need for responsible behavior to avoid setbacks. Rival companies emphasize their focus on aiding individuals with paralysis to regain bodily control. Recent studies have shown remarkable advancements, including translating jumbled vocalizations 
the text and achieving a typing speed of 62 words per minute for a woman with ALS, as reported by Stanford researchers pending peer review. The field continues to push boundaries, prompting crucial discussions around ethics and security implications. Scientists have been studying the electrical signals in our brains for many years, but the connection between brain activity and computers has become more prominent in the early 2000s. Companies in this field have different approaches, some using devices worn externally, while others read brain activity through external equipment. To explain this, they often use a sports analogy. External devices are like listening to the crowd outside the stadium, while those that reach the brain are like placing microphones in the stands to listen to specific conversations. Implant designing companies aim to capture signals from as many microphones as possible to obtain a clear signal of brain activity and transmit it quickly to a computer. Some companies claim achieving a strong signal without penetrating the brain is possible, which carries lower risks. In a recent study, 14 adults with brain-computer implants since 2004 experienced minimal negative effects with no fatalities or permanent damage. The safety record of these implants was comparable to other medical devices. For example, the Utah Array, a device with spike-like electrodes produced by BlackRock, has been used by 35 individuals. While it has shown inflammation at the entry point in the brain, it has provided significant benefits to people with severe disabilities. There are efforts to develop less invasive implants. Synchron, for instance, uses a stent-like device threaded through the jugular vein to rest atop the brain's motor cortex. This allows it to listen to brain activity without being directly inside the brain. This approach aims to reduce the invasiveness of the implantation process. These advancements hold promise for individuals with disabilities, offering new possibilities for restoring lost abilities through brain-computer interfaces. Synchron is among the leading companies in developing and marketing brain implants, conducting clinical studies with seven patients. One of them is Gorham, an Australian ALS patient who showcased the device's potential and flaws in a text message interview. Gorham uses eye tracking software to move the cursor quickly, and he imagines using his foot to click, which the Synchron implant recognizes and translates into computer commands. In a recent study funded by Synchron, four patients achieved an average typing speed of 16.6 accurate characters per minute, equivalent to three to four sentences. Executives from five competing brain tech companies recently gathered at a seminar to discuss brain computer technology's potential military and intelligence advantages. While they criticize each other in separate interviews, they maintain a cordial atmosphere at social events like after parties. While researchers anticipate a future with diverse brain implants to cater to various patient needs, they acknowledge the intense competition for funding to develop these products. Gerhardt, CEO of BlackRock, noted that although Synchron's stent technology may have some practical applications, it lacks the necessary bandwidth to enhance people's abilities substantially. He emphasized the need for data directly from the brain to achieve significant improvements. Neurosurgeon and electrical engineer Ben Rappaport, formerly associated with Neuralink, indirectly criticizes brain-penetrating technology. He co-founded Precision Neuroscience Core to develop an ultra-thin implant filled with electrodes. The implant can be placed on the brain's surface through small openings in the skull, allowing for increased data transmission without harming the brain. Rappaport envisions covering the brain with electrodes. On the other hand, Paradromic CEO Angle argues that placing a device on the brain's surface is too distant from individual neurons to read their impulses accurately. Instead, he focuses on modifying the Utah Array for improved bandwidth and reduced risk of brain damage. The company claims their tiny electrodes, 1.5 millimeters long and half the width of a human hair, can pass through the brain without causing inflammation and reach the area where neurons function. And that's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. And in the end, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.